If you follow my channel, you know that I love to stand planners and notebooks. They just give you so much flexibility being able to add and remove and rearrange pages all the time. And there are thankfully way more brands offering disbound planners and notebooks nowadays. And most of them have accessories that you can purchase separately if you don't want to buy their whole planner or notebook system. So you could buy like the disc from one brand and then mix and match that with the cover from another brand and then use various refill papers from all different brands. So I've done that and I've created a custom notebook here on the right. And I've also got a happy planner on the left here. So I'll just show you quickly. Um, I guess like a comparison so you can weigh up whether you just want to buy like a happy notes that's already been created from happy planner versus doing your own um, custom notebook yourself so with the discs these ones here these gold ones they're from my sister's shop which is carefully crafted so she's got gold ones there's also rose gold silver and then a whole bunch of different colors like pink green teal purple um, yellow orange so if you want lots of different colors I would go with the carefully crafted disc um, the Happy Planner also have their own uh, packs where you can buy, I think it's six different, yeah, it's about six different colors and they're like pastel and you can get that in mini, classic and big page size. So if you wanted to, you could do like pink, purple, alternating discs. You could do a whole pink one like this or you could do rainbow where you've got a different color for each disc. So making your own custom notebook, you could color code them that way. You could have um, like pink is your math notebook, blue is your English, etc or you could color code your covers instead. So you could do like all polka dots like this and blue could be math and then you could have green for geography or whatever you want to do. So if you want to make your own custom notebooks, there's definitely more um, flexibility that way. And if you are wanting to find, um, sometimes a happy planner will do like nice discs, but they don't have it in like the extension pack. So if you want to find something a bit more unique, have a look for expired or outdated planners because sometimes they end up being so cheap that you can just purchase the planner and then you've like only brought it just for the discs and you could use those um, instead and repurpose them for a new notebook. So if you can't find the exact like disc that you want, maybe have a look for an expired or outdated planner. In terms of the disc size, these ones from Carefully Crafted are a little bit different size to the Happy Planner, but they all still work together. Um, I did a detailed comparison of all the different brands that offer discs. If you wanted to take a look, I'll include that link down below. So first things first, if you want to do a custom notebook, I would look at the discs first because that's going to like dictate what you do for the rest. So like if the brand that you like those discs doesn't offer the refill pages, check if it's compatible with another brand. So like the Arc and the Levenger, those two are compatible if you wanted to use those because the Levenger do um, aluminium discs. If you want much more sturdy discs, they also come with the hefty price tag. But if you want sturdy discs, not um, plastics, the plastic ones are lighter. The aluminium ones are a lot more heavier, are like inkwell press. Um, so because they're, they're like better quality, if you take your um, planner with you around all the time. Maybe you want to get some aluminium discs because they're less likely to break. You can also get plastic discs that have no little punch out. So if you don't want the little hard, if you just want solid, um, the Maggie Holmes have solid discs and the Maggie Holmes is compatible with the Happy Planner. So have a look at the discs first and then decide what sort of accessories that you need and then you can start building your own um, notebook that way. So with the covers, this one is the create your own cover from the Happy Planner and I thought it would be the sturdy laminate like you see on their planners. You can see that it's a bit bendy but it's not like super bendy. With this create your own cover, look how bendy it is. You can turn the whole thing completely back. Um, it's not laminate, it's more like a plasticky material. And the other thing to keep in mind, it does have this extra kind of margin which I can understand why they did it because obviously you need some space for the holes. But you will see through um, like to your notebook below. So I've actually just got the packaging that came with the create your own cover this little cardstock here and I've just put that on the front so that you only see this strip of like white gear rather than the pattern or what I've written underneath and then for my custom cover I went to Officeworks and brought some cardstock that is thicker than paper but it's still thin enough that it can go through my printer and then I made this custom cover in Photoshop printed it out and then um, I just made it at full page size printed it out and then just trimmed it to suit the dimensions of this little pocket here at the front so you can just pull this out and then push it back in and make your own custom cover that way I did a few I did this one with stripes to show you so I could slip that one in instead and also did another polka dot one which you'll see on my um, back cover so in terms of the covers I do like this ability to make your own cover it's definitely not as sturdy though as the happy planner and it is a bit frustrating when you are turning the pages um, particularly when I'm trying to do it one-handed, which you'll see in this video, it is a bit more difficult with this more flexi, flexible cover. So you could get some um, like maybe chipboard or cardstock, punch that and add it in here again to make it just a bit more sturdier. Um, the other thing is the Happy Planner also have snap-in covers. So if you like their like um, 
their laminate, which is much more durable, you can use those instead of a custom cover. The only thing with that is you're never going to get anything monogrammed or personalized from Happy Planner because it's all just mass produced. So if you want something more unique and personalized to you, this is really like your only option apart from going to an office supply store and getting it laminated or apart from you laminating yourself on a laminating machine at home, which I have tried, but it just, it seems to go crooked or I just can't be bothered with getting the laminating machine out. With this one, you can just slip it in and out quite quickly. With the snap-in covers, another thing to keep in mind, Happy Planners seem to keep discontinuing them or they're not very readily available. There's not many designs to choose from. They also tend to keep going towards like the quote covers and I much prefer just like a nice pattern. I don't really need to see a quote on it. So keep that in mind as well as to what sort of, I guess, like design style you want to do. So in this notebook here, I'm just actually using it to store all of my refill paper. So when it comes in its plastic packaging, when you try and pull it out, um, I find that it can damage the little um, like mushroom hole things when you're pulling it out when you only want one and might pull out multiple, or then it can get stuck to the sticky residue of the packaging when you're trying to reseal it. So I want to get them all out of the packaging and put them in um, notebooks with the discs so that I can just go to that notebook, pull the page out, like this just tear it out and then use it in the notebook planner that I'm using at that time so I'm going to do a whole bunch of these notebooks with all my refill paper in it I've started with this one so this paper is actually from the Maggie Holmes it is thinner than the happy planner I have done a pen test comparison which I'll include down below um, so the reason I would recommend going with the Maggie Holmes is if you want to do your own color decorating then they have a dot grid paper like this Sorry, it's a bit awkward doing this one-handed. They have dock grid pages that do not have anything down the spine. So the Happy Planner tend to always include a pattern or some colors or something down the side, which looks great, but sometimes you just want a plain um, piece of paper so you can choose your own colors. I feel like when they include the pattern strip like, like this, I feel like I need to color coordinate. So there's a nice rainbow one, but sometimes I don't want to always use those same rainbow colors in all of my spreads. And the only way you can get a minimalist one from Happy Planner is this one with the stripes. And it is quite popular because it's their only minimalist one and tends to always be sold out. So instead you could mix and match and use the Maggie Holmes refill paper um, instead. And the other thing, the Maggie Holmes has much more faint gray dots, whereas the Happy Planners are much more bold. So if you prefer the faint dots, maybe try the Maggie Holmes, because as you can see, it's the same page size, same disc um, spacing and everything so they're all compatible. I've just repurposed some um, tabs or divider pages from some of my happy notes and also from I've got the dashboard extension pack so I've just used those covers and put them in there. Um, you could also get a label maker like the Dymo label maker and print a label and put it on the top there if you wanted to. And at the back here, I just have some of my smaller refills. So some of my classic size half sheet, the mini, and then also some checklist pages. I'm actually going to pull out the checklist pages and make a whole separate um, notebook. So I might get like blue discs and that will be all of my checklist refills. And then I can just find things a lot easier, um, especially since the, at the rate the Happy Planner bring out um, refills. Yeah, I need, I need a much better way of organizing them all because there's just so many to choose from. So some nice checklist paper. And then at the back, I have another custom cover, which I'll just turn it. Just give me a sec. Just gonna get these discs. I made another um, custom cover, and then you could do just a plain back cover if you wanted to, but I opted to just do a monogram so that when I want to change it up, I can literally just turn it around and I see this. Um, and I feel like that's a much better use of like my time as well because the time to print and, and make a cover, I may as well just add the monogram and then I've just got like a double-sided cover rather than a plain front and back. So that's what I did there. So I've kind of sort of started color coding. So I've got like the blue polka dot and then I might put some blue disc with that and I've got this pink dot. I could put some pink disc and I could color code it that way. So just something to keep in mind. So that's how I did my custom um, notebook. I will include a list of all the accessories that I've done, all those links I mentioned throughout the video, which with, with uh, which brands are compatible and with the discs, how to check for those. Um, yeah, so I'll have all of those links down below if you're interested. I'll also have some better photos. It's a bit awkward to film this with one hand. Um, we'll have all photos of my custom notebook and maybe some comparisons with the Happy Notes because the Happy Notes come with uh, dot grid lined or graph paper so you could get like a ready-made version or you could do the custom version and also do a cost comparison of the two as well to help you decide if you're trying to figure out which option to go with 
So I hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to subscribe. I usually do a new planner related video each week.